Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We're everyone, ladies and gentlemen, for the next episode of Orisuki. This being episode 10, we had the recap episode last week, so it's been two weeks since episode 9, which they actually really surprised me with the Tsubaki thing, because just with how all the other characters have been introduced and what we've had with them so far in the series, right? I was like expecting there to be something up for something sketchy, right, with Tsubaki and there actually wasn't she was just actually a genuinely good person right who you wanted to help Joro and to have him stick together with uh, his friends so I actually really liked what we had with Tsubaki and what we had just in the previous episode um, as a whole and now we're moving into uh, another case dealing with another girl who we actually have saw before if I remember correctly she was like with all those like the the younger um like the underclassmen, the freshmen and whatnot that were like talking crap about Joro, like with the rumors that were spreading and the whole like slipper man thing and all of that. So we have saw this girl before, so she's not necessarily new, um, but I guess they're coming back to her and they're going to focus more on um, more on her in this episode, at least. So, you know, we're going to see what, what goes on. The whole sunshine and pansy thing isn't happening, though, because that, that's what she was talking about. We're just like, nah, that, they, we know what the deal with pansy is and, and, and how she is towards Joro. So that's not going to happen. But Joro may have his hands full still. We're going to see, you know, what we have going on with her in this episode. We're going to hop into it. We're starting at the very beginning, zero seconds, and we're going to get into it in three, two, one, play. And Bench couldn't return to the return of Bench. Oh, well, this is probably her. This is probably her pulling him in here. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, we can't forget about the return of uh, Bench could too. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was gonna mention this before we started the episode, but if any of you guys actually did watch the recap episode and there's actually something like worth seeing in it, definitely let me know because I didn't peep at peep at it at all. And I know some recap episodes like to mix it up a little bit, like they like to do some funny stuff or some unique stuff rather than just straight up showing you scenes from the first nine episodes or whatever. So if they if they did something like that, let me know down in the comments because then I'll go check it out. I probably won't watch the whole thing, but if there's like a little bit of it that's worth seeing or something, let me know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> None. Yeah, it's her. <laughs> it is her. <laughs> Even I'm useful once in a while. So yeah, she was the one who called him Slipper Man. She's happy he remembered her. <laughs> and she's like the baseball manager. He's like, huh. Super idle. Um, um, okay, uh, is it just you who thinks that, or Tampopo <laughs> Popo this? <laughs> this girl is not an idol. She is a moron. I I don't think anybody else thinks she's a. It's <laughs> Ben Ben's code is in the science lab, <laughs> and she's just walking over to it with a smile like. Oh boy, <laughs> just get it over with. Just get it over with. Yeah, <laughs> so so does <laughs> Nan. Naturally, like this is just how it goes now. <laughs> yep, yep, here it comes. Sunshine and Pansy. 
<laughs> right, I can't do that. That's impossible. That's like naturally. Naturally, naturally. Has to be at the baseball game. <laughs> huh? I was about to ask, like, how does Pansy even get involved or tie into this? But I think she's gonna go with. Oh, <gasps> you see his reaction. So that's where Pansy came from. <laughs> Man, she is really passionate about this. <laughs> she is like super passionate about it. <laughs> she's a little extra. She she's a little extra though. Oh yeah, how could you how could you forget this? How could you forget that? Like <laughs> Not as big as a moron as I thought. She doesn't understand, obviously, like like Jordan does. Like that's not gonna happen. It's impossible. Like See, there's a motive. There there there's a motive. <laughs> oh man. It's not just naturally like, oh, I wanna see the baseball team do good or like you know, as the manager. There's more to it, of course, right? Right, what is, what is that? Want I guess. <laughs> My slave. <laughs> right? Like what? She just added that on there like it was nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, he's like he's he's trying to hold back. <laughs> was that his voice? There, I think it was. Jeez, he actually like <laughs> he actually Oh, Asanaro's here too. Oh, where the hell did you come from? <laughs> why why were you out there though? Like why were you at that angle? Like what were you even doing? <laughs> oh, you know, I mean, she would love that. She <laughs> she would love that apparently cuz she's all about that getting popular and getting her name out there. <laughs> Jeez, these motives, dude. These motives. Right, you know the aura is just coming off of them. Like, yeah, it's all over their faces. and I mean, they just said it, so. <laughs> like, well, even if they were just thinking it themselves, it's, they, it still says it all over their face. Charles the whole time is just like, man, this is pointless. Like, like this is not gonna happen. <laughs> Pansy and Sunshine, like.
but she does definitely not it definitely doesn't have a thing for sunshine like this is like, it's impossible like a part of it is just impossible like Squash the <laughs> squash the beef. <laughs> Look how they're all looking. Like, hmm. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Kenji's just like, whatever. Hey, great. <laughs> They're all watching. Oh, she has tickets. Just uh, spit it out. She's going to run away. <laughs> that's period that's a period right like isn't that what it is I've never heard it described as like a disorder though or like <laughs> however she put it or no that's menstrual or maybe it, I don't know <laughs> I'm not really well versed in those things <laughs> That, that that's it. Yeah, that's the project. This is it. She is so gun ho gung ho about this. <laughs> I think it's intentional too that her lips like make like a heart. I don't, yeah, it, it, that has to be intentional. I just, I, I was going to say something about it before, but it's done it like two or three times now. It's like. <laughs> He's like, don't put me in that position. He just so not want to do this from the beginning. He just not wanted to do this. <laughs> Lick her face. <laughs> Lick her face. It's a little more normal. It's a little more... And <laughs> industrial waste put in a mixer with slime. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. Oh, cringe. 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 hair that's going down there <laughs> like oh now everyone's here <laughs> How long have they been there? Annihilate them. <laughs> He 
He's gonna yell out her name. <laughs> Bean Popo. <laughs> Peed popos. <laughs> My gosh. This girl is batshit crazy, man. <laughs> like, she is like all over the place. Definitely, definitely, Joe. Ooh. See, now, like, if Jorah is just pretending or like acting like this it, as part of the plan, you know, and then what if Pansy actually takes it like seriously or something like, or like, how is that going to play out or, or like, I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> She's like a flip of a switch. <laughs> Bullshit, look, it says it all over your face. <laughs> And if anyone would know everything about this freaking game and it's in the setup, it would it would be Jor. actor right there bro this man is a god wow leave it to Asunaro <laughs> She went to school there in that, f okay. That's something we didn't know. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, that's incorrect. Like, nah, that's... <laughs> no. And she's gonna straight up tell him. Let's go. And George's just like, how do I take this? Like, how do I... But she's not lying. She is like... She looked at him and everything. Like, look how Arsenara's like kind of salty too. She's like, oh shit. <laughs> That's what I love about Pansy, though. Like, she'll just say it. You know, she doesn't even care, like, in front of everyone. Like, <laughs> yeah, I want to I wanna hear this. I'm guilty of being too cute. <laughs> we didn't even get to hear her, like. Oh, come on. <laughs> Asadar is still salty. Look back there. <laughs> oh, the picture. The picture. Is that... I think she... Oh, man. You can tell uh, Pansy's a little upset or like mad or something about something. Look at her. You are not going to win this war. Back off. You are not going to win. <laughs> did she grab it? Oh, she did grab it. I thought she just kind of let it... I thought she let it go. <laughs> Oh, one from her. Ooh, she carries something like that on her. Like, I guess it's all right. The library's gonna... That's what Cosmos was acting all weird about earlier in the episode then, huh? That's what she was... I was like, what's up with her? I Like, they didn't really go more into that, but then they came back to it there at the end, so... Damn. And that's where they all go and hang out and meet up, and, like, so... Damn. Well, hopefully you get that sorted out. Um, But, man, this... uh, Peen Popo... <laughs> He Popo, man. Um, Tam Popo. She is just off the walls, man. Like, it's like a flip of a switch, you know, just with with, um, with the way that she is, right? Um, now, we did have, like, a little bit of her before, but really they went more into her here. Um, so I would say more so this is kind of like her, like, official introduction or, like, her full introduction, um, I would say. Um, so, yeah, like, we didn't really – get or learn whatever her whole thing was necessarily about but we did actually um get some more i guess on kind of how pansy was in middle school and and apparently like um the kinds of things that others like in middle school were saying about her and how they were like pushing her to get a boyfriend and all of that and you know which when a, if a girl doesn't want to pursue that right you should people shouldn't keep but I mean that's kind of like kids, right? That's just kids, teens being teens, or kids being kids, whatever. I, I I don't know. Um, so I don't even know if that's something they're gonna go more into, or if that's kind of left for like the viewer to like, kind of um, wrap their head around. I guess what her whole like motive was, or if they're just kind of gonna leave it how they left it there with you know with uh, Pansy and her. 
But um, I mean, this was this is a semi enjoyable episode. I, I I would say um, she's just a really quirky, crazy character, man. Like when she's happy, she's just like it's like two hundred percent happy. When she's mad, she's like two hundred percent mad. But then it could just change like that, um, you know. But of course, she had her own kind of um motive right and was there's some a little bit of deception a little bit of lying there um going on so that was really nothing new you're right with, with some of these characters She's like this is the kind of thing like i was expecting with subaki but they didn't actually do that with Tsubaki. She was just actually a nice girl. So not to say that she's this girl isn't a nice girl but guys i think you guys know what i'm saying so um yeah great replacement though for the for the picture man like i i actually thought she like kind of left it there and then was just kind of a little upset about it but she was just kind of scheming like because some, sometimes the look on her face makes me think okay she's actually angry or upset about something but she actually wasn't she's just being a, a little slick right um it, it slipped her picture in there and she <laughs> when Jorah was like i'm fine like this is good or, this is fine she she actually started blushing and getting all like mm, yeah like it is i bet it is fine i'm like it, i would be like hell yeah like <laughs> Like, Joral is, it was all over his face. Like, he was definitely fine with having that picture of her, you know. I mean, he can get those whatever he wants, right? He could really get those whenever he wanted. So, this lucky guy, man. This lucky guy. Um, So, yeah. Pretty pretty solid episode. Pretty solid episode of here. Like, this girl isn't one of my favorites or anything like that. But it was it was enjoyable, I, I would say. But now, I guess, we're going to move into saving the, the library, right? Where... Like I said, we hang out and spend a lot of time and just it's a I guess a precious place to all of them, especially though for like Pansy, it has to be. So this should be interesting, man. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this episode of Orisuki. If you guys did enjoy my reaction, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.